everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. On last episode, we are chosen to make blueberry dumplings. I'm so excited to share with you this recipe. It's healthy version of dumplings and it's made from spell flour, whole wheat spell flour. Two days ago, I went to pick up some blueberries with my children and they enjoy so much, especially eating them right away from a bush. And I brought some home and freed them immediately, which I always do for the winter. And my children, we love dumplings. And I come up with this healthy version dumplings recipe and they are so delicious and um, very nutty and uh, fruity. It, it's so good. And this flour I made um, with my meal, I grind myself, it's still warm, it's so fresh and smells smells so good, it smells nutty flavor and um, very fresh, it's no stale like you open from a bag. Um, so I recommend to grind yourself, but if, obviously if you don't have the grind, you can buy and I will in description below show which brand I like, which one I used before, um, whole wheat spell flour. And that's how it looks with before, <laughs> before we grind. It's um, very nice uh, grains. And for the ingredients we need flour, salt, eggs, um, and um, some kind of liquid. And I decide to use kefir because that's what I have in my fridge. Kefir I always have. Uh, you can use buttermilk, you can use even milk and will work, um, or yogurt, regular, not um, Greek yogurt, but whole, whole fat, regular, plain yogurt will work as well. It just gives more soft and um, better texture for the dough versus if we would use just water. So let's do it. It's pretty simple ingredients. We need flour. And this dough, it's great to make in advance and can stay in the refrigerator for up to three days. Find about one teaspoon of salt. And eggs. Scrape once a while and about two minutes on medium speed. The dough is ready. As soon as it comes together, it's done. No need to over mix. It will be a little bit slightly stickier than normal dough, but it's okay. Don't, don't be afraid. Get a little bit flour and let the dough rest in the pot bag for about 20 minutes or so. This dough is great for not only for the sweet dumplings but for savory actually we like this stuff with meat. It's delicious. <laughs> and for the ingredients for the filling, it's so simple, just two ingredient berries, in, in our case it's blueberries. They are very ripe, very sweet in they are picking season right now, so they're so delicious, not need much sugar. And in fact, sometimes I don't add any sugar at all, but my mom used to add sugar, so it's not a lot. <laughs> and if you feel cut or add more up to your taste, um, the sugar is uh, very individual. <laughs> you can skip all together. So all you need just to mix together uh, those two ingredients. And mix all together. <laughs> We have done with mulberries, with strawberries. You can do so many different berries or mix all of them, <laughs> whichever you prefer. And frozen works just fine, just well as fresh one. So let's sit, set aside and now work on dough. Dough nice and elastic now after rest. I like to divide in four waters and work with one at a time. <laughs> I have done with kimchi and venison dumplings, also with cheese and herbs. So I will link below in description what, what kind of dumplings I already have. And many more comments. <laughs>
You don't have to overstuff them because that will be difficult to pinch. But about three, four, five blueberries. Depends on size, of course. It's just perfect. And make sure you have flour or wax paper so it will not stick. And at this point, it's nice to freeze them if you like or cook right away. It's up to you. They stay in, three, in freezer minimum three months or even longer. <laughs> so I always have freezer full of different dumplings for emergency lunch, breakfast, or dinner. <laughs> or even this one's nice. I like to serve them with blueberry sauce and cream fresh as dessert. And I will show you how to make it. Blueberry sauce. This is pretty big batch because I like to freeze and have them in advance but if you don't like to make um, if you don't have big family if you don't like to make in advance and have them freeze already feel free to cut this portion uh, this recipe in half so that your portion will be much much small so now I will freeze some and the rest of will boil so we need to get water Nice boiling, rolling, and add a little bit of salt. Kind of like you do pasta. And drop them. While they're cooking, they're cooking very fast. It's a fast process. In another pan, saucepan, I melt the bottom on low on low heat until the butter turns to nice and brown nutty flavor. As soon as they float on the top, they are ready. Make sure they all coated nice with brown butter, so each of them has equal amount and love from brown butter covered. And let's let them cook. We're not looking for crisp them up or cook even more. They are cooked just to get more soft and delicious. <laughs> so just for one minute, no longer. Meanwhile, let's do a uh, blueberry sauce. How beautiful they are and smell amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the sauce. I can't wait. It looks so good and my mom always surface cream fresh. That's what I'm doing, but Greek yogurt or salad cream will work as well. Remember, Russian eats everything with salad cream, so it's not salad cream is not going to hurt you. Oh my goodness. That's exactly how I like so much berries inside and very little thing dough. On the end of the video, we're choosing from my recipe wish jar what we're going to make next time. Pork chops. Hope you enjoyed this video and give this recipe a try soon. And give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I will link in the description below. As always, this recipe is similar and all products I use. And I hope you will enjoy to make this recipe soon. Bye, see you next time. <laughs>